All right, so this one's gonna be for cancer. Um, I know I sound a little crazy, but oh my god, I was just tuning into this energy and I got all like misty eyed and stuff. I feel like y'all been going through a lot. Um, just do me a solid, right? All the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. If you see me live, hop in. But yeah, cancer. <sighs> you just got so much going on in your world, you know? Like, I feel like this is definitely for the single cancer. Um, because I feel like you guys have just been dealing with so much, you know what I mean? Just trying to get life in order, trying to make sure that, like, certain things you wanted will manifest, and some of those things haven't manifested. I feel like this might be even, like, a romantic situation in particular that just didn't manifest, someone couldn't step up to the plate, someone couldn't be consistent for you, but it's okay. Because when it really comes down to it, like, if someone stresses you out, it's not worth the risk. You know what I mean? Stress is a silent killer, so that's why we tell people, don't let people just put weight on your heart for no reason. Beyond that, it's like you're stepping into a new phase, Cancer. Like, I wouldn't even worry. Life is much greater and grander when you step out on your own. Like, in particular, I just feel like you can create the consistency inside relationships that you've always wanted. It's there for you. But, you know, just don't dwell on where you've been, because I feel like in some ways, it's just a reminder of what you don't want. And, you know, if you view it as a lesson as opposed to a loss, it really does shift. Now, beyond that, in terms of oracles, I love these. You got awakening, birthing, a new age, and leap. It's just time for you to do something fresh, you know? So, walk forward with a less heavy heart. I feel like you guys have just been, like, caring so much. And I feel like it hasn't been really that fair. Now, let's see. There's also the rune. So, I think you guys got, uh, not these. Which is about self-reliance, um, endurance, survival, delays and restrictions, time for patience, and facing one's fears. Which, I mean, it's half-tilted, so I mean, in some ways you guys could be semi-reliant on self, or, like, you still are reliant on others in terms of, like, certain validations and things. And I know that is so cancer, I got a cancer moon, that's why I'm in my feelings right now, I'll tune in any y'all energy. But the important thing here is to prioritize the self, you know, like, make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do to be in a good place emotionally, because we all know Cancer's gotta feel it in order to, like, head in that direction. That's why y'all to chariot. Um, but find that profound sense of growth in situations that might be painful, okay? Because I feel like when you learn to let stuff go, you rely on yourself, that's hella attractive. And I feel like you're definitely uh, charming your way into somebody else's romantic sphere the second that you prior prioritize yourself, you know? So don't be discouraged if it's been a hard time romantically. It's about to get a whole lot easier, child. But if you don't embrace who you are, who you're becoming, the direction you're heading in, and the newfound knowledge, and you don't view it as newfound knowledge, you're not going to be able to recognize a good thing when it's right in front of you. So, prioritize you. But I hope that gives you clarity, Cancer. <laughs> 